Okay? Um, all right, just do it again slow so everybody can see. Take the camera a little bit so you can see where your arm goes. So I'm way out there. Now, again, I could use this with the jab. I'll throw a jab, but it's hard to catch the jab. Go again. Go a couple fast. Pop it in there. Pop it in there. Hit me. Hit me. See, it's hard to catch the jab when it's fast, so I'm not recommending it to do it on a fast jab. It's better with the, it's better with the cross. All right. Now, if you happen to sense you can catch a jab, and you are in, you're on opposite leads, and the jab comes, and you catch it, he's going to move. He's going to move with that elbow, okay? Do it again. So that's going to move, all right? All right, the other hand, keep this way. Goes with the jab. Just a little flick, we'll move. Pretty good. Now, another one is you have your hands up, he throws a jab. That's a jab. Now you see, you come on the inside too. You hear, you know, you got the jab. Come with the inside elbow. Playing around, close to your jab. The inside elbow, same as the outside elbow, moves them. Come to the side, throw a few jabs, jabs. Then with the inside elbow, that doesn't even connect too well. Do it again. Now, the thing about these elbows, sometimes, I said hitting you on the hand will move them, but the elbows have a funny way, like if you throw it, if you can hit them here, right there, that even gets them a little bit better. Now, if you go jam, if I hit him there sometimes, that'll move him too. Now, again, like that. Feel like that. All right, now, occasionally, if a guy throws a jab cross combination and you parry him with the elbow, you're in a little bit. Do it slow. I cross, I parry, and he comes with the cross this way. And then I have to do it again. Do it again, so I'll jab. You can, if you catch it right, you can move this arm out and then that arm out at the same time. Go again. Just like that. Do it again. You're right in that way. Do it again. You're right in that way, okay? Okay, with the other hand. Jab cross. Jab cross. Okay. Jab cross. You know, I see Zach knows it's coming, but occasionally, and this is a risky move, but if you're in there and that cross happens to come, if you still can throw it, then you can parry with the elbow once you're in. This is a good drill to practice. Just have the guy throw jab cross combos at you. Get in there and work with the elbow. Get in there and work with the elbow. It's a pretty good practice. It increases your speed and increases your elbow parries. All right, now we talked about linear par parries to some extent. I showed you some circular parries. You have inside, towards the inside, towards the outside, towards the outside. High, 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 and high. These parries, really, I don't find them very good for diverting punches. Um, some kicks are good if you can get them right on with the low parry. We'll show a couple of those, but they are few and far between the kicks that you can divert with the low parry. Punches, 
Sometimes you can uh, if a jab comes in. Sometimes you might be able to divert it with a round parry, a circular parry. Maybe we'll do a few of those, but what I find the practice of the circular parries is best for, it's best for a release and an entry. Now, the dowel come in. Now, dowel takes my hand like this, all right? Now, just knowing that circular motion, if I want to release, I just go like that, okay? Pretty much, he's got me, and, and no if really, even if it's a real, I mean, the guy uses all his strength, it's hard to hold the hand in if you, because he's going to release sometime along that circumference. So he grabs it again. All right, now if he grabs it with this arm, I just do it that way. That's all, okay? Um, again, when you want to get the release, you just go where the thumb is. Uh, he grabs this hand. That's, pay, that's really simple. It just, just takes the practice doing a circular motion with the pattern. Now, similarly, with if you get my hands up here, I can do it like that. Do it again. Just get a release. Okay, do it like that. But I just got to make sure that I remember his hand is here when I do it. So, but I got to release nonetheless. This way, same thing. This way, same thing. One thing good about it, it puts your hand. One thing, do it again. You don't want to play on tug of war. Grab. Yeah. It's one thing you don't want to do with somebody. You know, is, is do a tug of war. Okay. What you want to do is just, just like that. Now, if I find, this is a little diversion, if I find that my opponent is really holding on good, and for some reason that I don't think that I can get out, I would just go somewhere else like that, use a little Kempo or something on him. Um, I'll show you that one more slow. Just get the S, bring him straight down. But um, we're not, we'll talk, maybe talk about that later. Okay, now, the other way to use the circle of parries is as an entry. Okay, he's got my hand. What I want to do is use the same motion as I did before, and I bring the hand underneath his forearm and move it around. Okay, hold it again. It takes a little practice because you can often find yourself just as a, at a release. You know, or I could do it like that. Now, you see, the thing is, if he's got my arm, I can either use it as a release, or I could bring the release into, that was kind of sloppy, do it again. If I bring the release, get his arm underneath there. If I do it again, so you get his arm. If you got it, you got, your, you got it right inside like that. You got the entry. Again, he comes around this way. So I could come around this way, get the arm around like that, and come in there. So I take it, and the hand, as I'm going around, the hand comes in, and moves his arm away. Then, comes this way, grabs me, move around. I have an entry right there. With this arm, okay, same thing. I could bring it around, have an entry right there. Do it again, entry right there. Do it again. Entry right there. Okay. The trick is when he 